Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day out there. Today, we're going to work on making uh, something like a fish tank. Okay, we're just going to make an animated scene that's going to take place. So, to begin with, I don't need my cat on here, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of him. Okay. I'm going to go and click on a sprite, and we're going to add a new sprite. So we're going to look for a sprite. And like I said, we're going to do a fish tank. So I'm going to go down. I can just go through, or I can just click on here and say fish. And we've got these different fish here. we got a fish in a fish bowl. we got jellyfish. we got a starfish. You know, to start, I think I want to do... Something that's going to go across the bottom of my tank. So I've got my crab. I'm going to get my backdrop. So I'm going to go to choose a backdrop. I'm going to search. And sports, outdoors, indoors, underwater is the one I want. And they've got two here. I think I'm going to go with underwater two. There we go. And you can see my crab is kind of up in the air. I'm just going to set him down here on the ground. If we look at my location, you can see that here, negative 158, and my Y position is negative 161. So I like that. We're going to go in, get our control. Oops, sorry. Uh, we want our event first. So when the flag is clicked, I want my crab to start right here. So we're going to go to motion and we're going to put go to X or my, yeah, my X is negative 158 and my Y is negative 161. Now that we have that, we want him to be able to start moving. So now we can go to control and what we're going to do is do a forever because it's a tank we just want him to continually move so i'm going to go to motion and with this he's going to move 10 steps okay so if i hit flag he moves 10 and he disappears good hit the stop if i hit flag he starts over here again nice so now we need an if statement control if and we want if on edge okay so we need sensing there it is if touching oops if touching edge, then we want him to bounce. Or we could change directions, okay? But we're just going to bounce. So we'll find that bounce. If on edge, bounce. <laughs> And there he goes. <laughs> if on edge, he's bouncing. But we don't want him to flip, right? We're going to drop this in. Don't rotate. Stop. Run. There we go. So... I set in here, um, set rotation style to don't rotate. Now he just bounces back and forth, and I'm pretty happy with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now our next uh, bit of code we want. Let's go and see if this crab has different costumes. Oh, his little pinchers open. You see that? So let's go back in to our code and let's run that. Let's see if it's playing it. Nope, it's not playing it. So 
we're going to come over here. We're going to do another event. And we're going to do a control of forever. We're going to do a wait. Okay. Move turn point. Because what we want to do is we want, which one's got the weight in it? Is it in control? Yep, there it is. We want him to wait, and then we want him to change to the next costume. So let's see how that looks. So if you look, you can see his claws open and close, open and close. But it's happening pretty slowly. So I'm going to speed this up. Now, we want to go less than one because we were at one second. I'm going a half a second. Let's see how that looks. Now you can see those little claws opening and closing more. I'm, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to add another sprite. We're going to add, I saw that starfish. I think he's pretty cool looking. So let's move him, let's put him up above here, okay? So we got him. I don't want him to be that big, he looks a little big. We're gonna bring him down to 50%. There we go, he's much smaller. He can start on that side and we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. We're gonna go to control, to event, excuse me, on the flag. We want him to start, I'm on motion. We want him to start right where I have him, okay? So I'm gonna grab my X is 156, my Y is 93. Remember that's horizontal and vertical. So here it is, go to that point. We want to then we want to be sure that we, um, we're going to do a forever, but we're going to be bouncing, right? I'm just looking for my rotation, go to random, click over here again. So we want our set rotation, okay? That's what I'm looking for. There it is. Don't rotate, because I want him to stay upright also. Now we can go to our control and forever. With him, I'm going to make him glide, I think. So his motion is going to be a little different. We'll do this glide. Ooh. Let's do random position. Let's see how that looks. I kind of like that effect. I think I'll leave that. Now, I know he's got other costumes as well. So I'm going to stop him. We're going to sound. Sorry about that. I'm going to go to, I might as well do my event on the flag. Control. Here's my weight. And then we're going to go to looks. And we want next costume. Now here's the thing. Watch the difference. Remember last time I put it in a forever? This time I'm not going to put it in a forever and show you what happens. Notice he changed his look. But he's not changing his look again. Because it runs one time and then stops. So we're going to stop that. We're going to grab our forever block. Okay. We want all this inside our forever block. And now when I hit play, you see his face change. He goes up. I kind of like that because it's changing. Every time he changes motion, he changes his look. So you can see 
His face changes when he's changing directions. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that works, that works well. Okay, now what I'm gonna encourage you to do, add another sprite. This one, we're going to change a little bit. We're gonna use this shark here, okay? Now, I don't want him right there. I think I want him up here. So I'm going to do my event on the flag, motion, go to, oh, right now he's at 162, so i got to change this. Or if I just click out of there and click back in, it should change. And it didn't change. Oh, well. That is a negative. Make sure I only have one negative sign in there. 162. And a positive 98. So let's make sure we get positive 98. Now, that sets him right where he's at now. Since we have that, I'm pretty happy with him there. We are going to go and do our control. Uh, I'm going to do, you know what? We're not going to do a control because our motion is going to point towards the mouse pointer. And we are going to make him do what? What should we have him do? I'm thinking, why not make him move? 10 steps. Ooh, even better. Let's glide to that mouse pointer. Now, here's the part. Notice he went up. Okay. What I'm going to make him do is forever point towards that. So we want him to go there when we begin. Now forever, I don't want him to stay there forever. I want him to go to the mouse pointer. Stop. But I don't think I want him to rotate over. Let's see how that looks if I change that, okay? We'll stop this. And we want that again we want our rotate so set rotation style is what we're looking for set rotation style I'm back on my shark don't rotate there we go. We're going to try it. I don't know if I like that as much. I really didn't like him turning upside down, but I think I liked when it looked like he was heading for my mouse. Stop, run. Okay, there we go. Next thing we could do, take it a step further. Change, right? Event. Control. Now, we don't have to do this forever, but we can forever. Look. Next costume. And then we can go in here. Remember, we got to put our weight. Let's do 0.25. So that's a quarter of a second. Run. Now you can see he is. And 
we could make him point towards that crab and stuff, but we're going to leave it with the mouse pointer. And then he's going to glide. Now I can make him stay closer. If I were to point, point to five in here, stop. He's going to be right on my pointer, okay? So depending on how you change that is how he's going to stay on there. I want you guys to play with this. See what you can do. Add a couple more characters. One thing we haven't dealt with is sound. Okay. If I want to add some sound, I would go to event on and I could play water drop. Okay. Start sound. Stop play. So we get that one drop, okay? Or control or ever. That's a wait till done, but Whew. now. I can change the volume. I can pitch, things like that. I could put a weight in here. And there you go. You see I've slowed that down. But I could also go find a sound that might be a little bit better for this. So, there you go. Go ahead and play with this. Hope you've had fun. Hope you come up with something you enjoy. Next time I think we'll be to the point of building our first game. See you next time.